It's Bell the Dragon. I'm on verse 11. So Bell Priest said, Lo, we go out, but thou, king, set on the meat and make ready the wine and shut the door fast and seal it with thy own signet. Own signature? Yes, yeah, signature. And to and tomorrow when thou comest in, if thou findest not that bell, have eaten up all we will suffer death, or else Daniel that speaketh falsely against us. And they little regarded it, for under the table they had made a private entrance, whereby they entered and continually and consumed those things. So when they were none forth. The king set meats before Bell. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes and th in those days strewed, strewed throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone. Then went they out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signet and so departed. Now in the night came the priest with their with their wives and children as they were wont to do and did eat and drink of all in the morning bedtime the king arose and Daniel with him and the king said Daniel are the seals whole and he said ye O king they be whole and, and, and as soon as he had opened the door the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice Great art thou, O Bell, and with thee is no deceit at all. Then laughed Daniel, and held the king that he should not go in, and said, Behold, now the pavement and mark well whose footsteps are these. And the king said, I see the footsteps of men, women, and children. And then the king was angry, and took the priests with their wives and children, who shewed him private doors where they came in and consumed such things as were upon the table. Therefore the king slew them and delivered Baal into Daniel's power, who destroyed him and his temple. And in that same place there was a great dragon which they which they of Babylon worshipped. And the king said unto Daniel, Wilt thou also say that this is of brass? Lo, he liveth, he eateth, and drinketh. Thou canst not say that he is no living God. Therefore worship him. Then, then said Daniel unto the king, I will worship the Lord my God, for he is the living power. But give me leave, O king, and I shall slay this dragon without sword or staff. The king said, I give thee leave. Then Daniel took pitch and fat and hair and did seethe them together and made lumps thereof. This he put in the dragon's mouth and, to, and so the dragon burst in asunder and Daniel said, Lo, these are the gods ye worship. So Daniel made the first bomb. I <laughs> When they of Babylon heard that they took great indignation and conspired against the king saying the king is become a Jew. Right, because they was Hamites and that was a Jew. And he have destroyed Baal and have slain the dragon and put the priest to death. So they came to the king and said deliver us Daniel or else we will destroy thee and thy house. Now then the king saw that they pressed him sore. Being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them, who cast him into the lion's den. So that's how Daniel made it into the lion's den. Where he was six days. And in the den there were seven lions. Completion. And they had given them every day two carcasses. Carcasses. Yeah. And two sheep, which then were not given to them to the intent they might devour Daniel. Verse 33. 
Now, there in the jury, a prophet called Habakkuk, who had made pottage and had broken bread in the bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head and though the vectory of his spirit set him in Babylon over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which God hath sent thee. Okay, Keep go ahead. Basically, in Daniel uh, 6 and 22, so you know, I interconnect. You got to get loud, because. How, how it's the same thing. Because you got to talk to the camera. And the um, apocryphal. Because you got to remember, the people on the outside who are watching this, they don't really know what's going on. That's why you got to talk directly to them, and you got to look at the camera. Because right. you got to talk to your audience. Because you ain't looking at them, then they, don't, they ain't going to really know what you're talking about. Think about all the elder videos. Exactly. They look directly at the camera. And it's like they talking to you. And you be like, oh, okay, okay. All right, uh, Daniel 6 and 22. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth. Right, mouth. But, but what angel did he send? What was the name of the angel again? Habakkuk. Now, where is Habakkuk located at? Right, Habakkuk is in the King James Bible. Right, let's show them Habakkuk. They think we some goddamn fairy tales. And as you starting to see, you don't know, read the Bible back and forth. It's precept upon precept. Yep, we're finna get right on you. Right, that's what Habakkuk located at. That's the prophet that was sent to Daniel as that angel to feed him. Now, this is the verse on why it's good to have precepts. Uh, this is um, Psalms 119-104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Understanding. You got to understand why Daniel was thrown in the goddamn lion's den because Baal and the dragon. That's why he got thrown. And why he tell the king that he ate because the Lord's son Habakkuk, the angel, to him, which was another prophet. Therefore, I hate. Every false way. Right. So them goddamn churches is a false way. They ain't giving the kids. They love teaching the kids of Daniel. Because they use that story as a courage story. Yeah. But they not telling them how he ate. Now let's uh, go into the Bible and what he tell the king. All right. Daniel 6 and 22. My God has sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouths. That they had not hurt me for as much as before him. Innocency. Innocency. It's like Innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. And the king commanded, and they brought <clears throat> those men which had accused them, and they cast them into the den of lions. Right. Them, their children, and their wives. Everybody get it. That's why when we uh, get y'all people, we getting you, your wife, and your kids. Yep. And your grandmother. And the Lord grandmother. always do that. He don't just have people get punished, just them. He gets your wife and your kids. Because who you think the man teach? Exactly. That whole demonic family. But y'all niggas got the women teaching, so we're going to get y'all and y'all kids. <laughs> Go ahead and finish the, the bill thing. I mean, the Habakkuk. Okay. Then the angel of the first, I'm on, I'm on first 36. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and buried him by the hair of his head and throw the vecamy of his Vemacy. spirit. Vemacy. Of, <clears throat> of his spirit. Set him in Babylon over the dead. And Habakkuk said, Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which God had sent me. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O, o power. That's why he was able to tell the king that the Lord has remembered him, because he did nothing wrong. That's how he know the Lord was with him. Exactly. His 
innocency. And when he said his, uh, of, of, of his innocency, and he had faith. And that's the first person who he um, thanked was the Lord. Right. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. Upon the seventh day, the king went to bewail Daniel. Now go back to the story and um, and um, well, we're going to finish that. But Steve, I need you to read that last part again on how many days it was for the king came. But go ahead with finishing what you was doing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you got to read that, Daniel. Upon the seventh day, the king went to the well, Daniel. Now pause it. Now how many days it was in that one? Seven days. You got to read it, though. All right, uh, Get a verse six. and read it, though. <clears throat> Daniel 6 and 23, then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no matter of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. And, his, and the king commanded, and they brought those men which accused Daniel, that cast them into the den of lions, them their children and their wives, and, and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces forever. I mean, or ever they came at the bottom of the okay, it didn't say the days. It didn't say the days. Okay. Go ahead, cuz. Upon the seventh day, the king went to the well of Daniel. And when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting. Then cried the king.